Hi, this is Andy Doctor. This is my 2006 Volvo XC90 with a V8 engine. This morning, the car said that the low beams bulbs have issue. So let's take it up and have a look. Now, for this car, it's so easy to take out the uh, low beam light. Two metal bar here. This is a shorter one. And there's a longer one on the other side. So take them out and put them somewhere safe and this whole thing will come out and there is a connector out here you just pull it out sometimes you may need a screwdriver to help you with that but yep like that pull it out and it will come right off so now we can let it sit here and check. This one This one is the low beam light. It's inside, so we're gonna rotate it and take it out. And you see here, here is the low beam light. Turn and it will come up like this. Now it could be the light bulb's broken, but looking at it, the connector, the wires are perfectly good. So it may or may not be. By the way though, if you do not know, this one run at super high amps, uh, so it produces a lot of heat. In many cases, it is a connector that actually burn, and this is a typical issue for many cars. So in other words, even though you may have a different car, but to fix this one it may be quite similar so let's separate this one out and have a look at the connector so two tap out there you need to kind of separate it oh yes you see that that burn out okay now I do have a connector uh, for it this is my new one uh, by the way I even smell burning now after it came out this part is plastic and like i said the m is really high so it produces a lot of heat this one even though it's up to market this one is ceramic so you should never burn uh, by the way if you want to get the same one i have link for you to amazon in the description so you don't need to search i believe this is a h11 of course your car may use a slightly different one now looking at it though, you want to be careful, you compare it, so this side is not open, the other side is open the same way. The wire actually are opposite way, so I actually want to connect the black one to the red one and the red one to the black one later on. I don't think the polarity matter for traditional light bulb, but just in case you have LED, you know they do matter so what I'm going to do here though is that I am going to cut the old one off it's, it's burned again so I'm going to cut it off and cut off the other side and throw it away okay and now I am going to strip the wire so you obviously need a wire stripper So, wire having stripped, and here is the replacement connector. Remember, we want to do the red color with the black color. Um, now, I actually have some really cool connector out here. Those are called solder seal wire. So you don't need to do any extra soldering. Just use the heat gun and they will connect to each other and of course insulated too so let's do that and they come in different size okay but this one should be good to go by the way if you want to buy the same one there is also a link for you to amazon in the description so again you don't need to search so let's do that and of course we will do one at a time so we want to make sure that the wires are together 
and we're going to slide it into it. And then slide it all the way into it. And now this side of we're going to get a red color. Also going to slide into it. And again, we need to make sure the wire are together so it will go in easily. Okay, so now we're going to use a, a heat gun. So, going to heat it up and the solder will work. Also, it will insulate it. Okay, now let's it cool down for a few seconds and we will check to make sure that it indeed Sorted together, and if so, we are good to go for the next one. In fact, in the time of waiting, we can put the other one and make it ready. So, we don't need to waste our time. The same way, make sure it goes in. And the other side. Okay, let's check the other one, see if it's good. I'm going to pull it slightly. Yep, it feels really good, really tight. So let's solder this one, and then we are good to go. Okay, that's after a few seconds, and it is cool to touch. So we're going to try to pull it and see. It's good. And the other side, it's also good. So this should fix it. Now we're going to put the light back on. This is actually all it will go. It snap onto the side and that's good enough. It doesn't pull out. And over here it have a gap. I guess I'm okay with that. Okay, so yep, that's it. It snap onto it and it doesn't pull out. It's all. So we'll put the light back on and we are good to go. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this is helpful for you. If so, I hope that you can like this video or even better, subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you very much for watching.